hello and welcome in this lecture we are going to cover the advanced hole feature in the solidworks you can find the advanced hole in the drop down menu of the hole wizard or you can directly go to the insert feature and advanced hole let's create a new part file i'm going to change the background to plain white now let's create a object go to any plane sketch and select a rectangle provide the length 100 mm and another length 100 mm simply click okay go to feature and extrude it up to 100 mm to create a perfect cube for the better visualization let's add a material go to the glass you can select the any glass let's say clear glass so that it will be clearly visible now go to the hole wizard and advanced hole now you have two options type and the position first of all you have to introduce the type of the hole and after giving the specification to the hole you have to specify the position where you want to insert the hole here are the near side and the far side options let's start from the near side near side has the different options insert the element below active element insert above active element you can delete the active element after creating the element and you can reverse the stack direction let's start from the near side for this you have to click here and choose a near side face i am going to choose this face now we have to provide the specification for the hole let's provide the standard as an si inch and select the desired type of the hole let's select the socket head cap screw and provide the size any size you want let's say 3 by 8 you can change, see the change in the preview now you can provide the in condition from clicking here first of all let's select the shape of the near side hole you have different options near side counter bore counter sink tapered type and many more you can select any or you can select simply hole i am going to select the counter bore now provide the in condition click here you have the different options i am going to practice with the blind and provide the length is a 1 inch now you can this one is little big let's say 0.5 inch you can add the other elements below this element for this you have to select the insert element below active element simply click insert element and you can select the desired shape of let's say this type hole simple hole and you have to specify the specification standard is ansi inch let's say screw clear inch 3 by 8 size is okay and in the blind suppose let's provide 1 inch this time and this is the near side options to select the far side you have to select the far side and here is a option select a face or the plane i am going to select this in face now same as in the near side you can change the options for the hole suppose this time straight tab now provide the specification for the straight tab 
the standard is ansi inch let's keep as it is and you can provide the in condition here this is the automatic up to next element now you can see the preview simply you have to before clicking ok you have to specify the position click in the position now the sketch point is activated you can put in any position as your requirement now go to normal and dimension it for the positioning up suppose this one is 30 from above this one is 40 let's this define this one also 30 and from this point to from this point to this point you can define 45 now the sketch is fully defined simply click ok you can skip the instances you want simply click ok now this is the advanced whole feature in the SOLIDWORKS I hope you learned the features available in the advanced hole options in the advanced hole in this way you can practice the advanced hole in the solid box thank you for your time thank you